Chatsonic is an AI powered conversational partner. It is designed to help you generate content, answer questions, and spark creativity with ease. Whether you are new to AI tools or you are looking to enhance your workflow, this tutorial will guide you through the basics of Chatsonic. We'll explore how to use its powerful features to boost your productivity and creativity. Now let's get started and see how Chatsonic can transform the way you interact with AI. Now to access Chatsonic, all you need is to come anywhere within your browser and just type in Google, um, just like so, and you can go ahead and type in Chatsonic, just like so, hit on enter, and we're brought in over to this very platform. Or you can alternatively go to writesonic.com because it is part of uh, Writesonic platform. So Chatsonic, if you have used ChatGPT before, this is a very fantastic, good alternative to ChatGPT because it has even more features than ChatGPT. So you can click on this first one and you brought in over to this very platform. There's a lot you can see here is the ChatGPT team alternative to enterprises offering real-time websites, PDF image, PDF image and website engagement. One app for multiple large language models. Now you can go ahead and set, check out some of the features they have. You can uh, research any topic, chat with any document, uh, be it PDF, be it uh, image and so on. You can summarize a web page directly if you're interested and many, many more. Okay, so you can check out and see what and what people are saying about it. But overall, it's a very fantastic tool that you will definitely enjoy um, trying. So you can come over and say, try Chatsonic now. Of course, you have to log in. You can log in with your Microsoft account or with your Apple account, or you can just continue with your username and password. If you have an email, you can just go ahead and sign up directly. For this tutorial, I'm going to use one of my, um, one of my Gmail accounts to sign in, and then I'll meet you at the other side. All right, so once you sign in, you will be able to be brought in over to this very platform and you can check out the other basic things that you have here. This is the home tab. If you want to chat or you want to create a YouTube script or you want to draft a press release announcement or social media post advertising, advertising, or you want to uh, do general writing or you may want to create videos, there's so much you can do here. You can just go ahead and start um, exploring. But for this tutorial, our main target is Chat Sonic. This is on that right Sonic, but then our main target for today is Chat Sonic. So you can come over here, you can see Chat Sonic over here. Now, once you're here, Chat Sonic is very powerful. You can generate images, you can write things, you can even by mail looking at the platform, you can see this is something like the Chat GPT that you usually have. Over here, you can have your recent document or your recent chats that you have with the with the chat sonic and you can create a new chat by just coming here and clicking on new chat and you can search directly for a particular chat if you are interested and then over here these are just some sample um, chats that some powerful features that you can see that you can try okay find the top ranking keyword clusters you can identify the best ranking keywords you can craft articles and blog posts in minutes and down here, this is where you can have the chat area. This is where you write in anything that you want. So the most important thing when dealing with Chatsonic is to treat it as a fellow human being, as if you are talking to a fellow human being, but it's very much, much, much more intelligent than you. And it's giving you answers based on how detailed you, you ask your questions. So down here, you can see you can add documents from files to link to uh, websites, to images, and even audio, you can add audio um, clips and then it should be able to read it for you. You can select a brand voice as, uh, as default if you want to read out loud or you want the system or the program or the AI tool to read out, to read out, read out loud for you. So you can start asking your questions by just coming over here and just say, asking basic questions like what is a photosynthesis and and please include some chemical formula um, to justify your definition. 
okay so you can be as detailed as you want as regards to the, the prompts that you can send with if you've used chat gpt like i said it depends on how detailed you are with your prompt that is that will determine how detailed your answers are going to be so what is photosynthesis please include some chemical formula to justify your definition if you like you can use ai to improve the prompt but right now i just want it to go straight and as you can see it is very very fast and it has given me exactly what i want and it is even giving me more chemical equations as regards what i've requested so you can see how detailed it is with the definition and the chemical formula as well as the arrangement this is the chemical equations that you can you requested and you can see over here you can copy it directly to clipboard and then paste it somewhere maybe in your word document or the about and then you can have more actions from here if you want you can regenerate the result if you are not certain with what you have at the moment you can go ahead and regenerate this result or you can have more actions like you can rephrase it or you can improve the writing make longer uh, make shorter or you can change the tone of it make it informative friendly authoritative or neutral depending and then you can simplify it if you if you're interested so these are very basic controls that you can have as regards what you are working on now over here you can add add to notes if you want to add to your notes you can just click and it's just going to add to your notes over here so you can see right now you have your notes you can open it in AI document editor and you can edit this document as well if you are interested. And then down here you can download this directly and it's just going to download it for you in Microsoft Word document. So right now I've just downloaded this and once I click it is going to open in my Microsoft Word document. So this is how fantastic and very powerful you can see. You can see the responses it has given me and see the results very very fast. You can just go ahead and edit this if you are interested. Now this is the one way to do normal chat with it and you can see the result um, you can always click here to see more and you can click this to see more actions like you can check for plagiarism if you are a paid member if you want to check for plagiarism of course you have to be a payment paid member but you can do that as well using this very feature of course you can always click from here to open this in the um, text editing editor format um, platform and you can see over here you can select and edit anything that you're interested you can bold italize and so on you have the option to do paragraphing you can change redo and undo things and you have the writing feature article writer humanizer and so on you can rewrite things here very easily so these are things you can explore and see how you can use accordingly okay so you can click on notes to be able to always come back to the notes and you can click back to have it um, collapse back to this one so this is the first one to send in basic prompt directly the next one is you can be, for example be able to add a, an image and be able to chat with it directly so let's add an image click here to upload an image so let's upload this image let's go ahead and ask it what is this image about so what is this image about and just hit and enter this is a thumbnail that i make about a video tutorial and uh, let's see whether it's going to be able to analyze this and you can see it has quite analyzed it and it's very very fast top five ai tools for students it has detected this and then it has detected that um this suggests that you can do this this is the setting of this 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 um the student is focused on her laptop you know it has picked in the exact details and you can use this as well to add in to summarize some charts from a graph for example let's go to this and i think i have one simple chart here okay so we can use this chart can you explain what this chart is about and you can improve the prompt if you want to but i just want to send it a row like that and let's see how fast it is going to give us the explanation all right so on the, in this case you can see it says you cannot provide um, some information okay so let's say what is this chart about I think let's see what is the image about okay let me do that one more time you can see right now it just depends on how you prompt it you can see it has given us the detail of what we are requiring okay so you can see right now it has given us everything we need about the image that we've just uploaded so it all depends on how you prompt it you can be as detailed as you want and if you want to copy this also you can go ahead and copy it 
we copy the, to the clipboard, download, or you can add to the notes that you have here by the site, like we've explained earlier. And you can always come down here to download things. Now, the next thing is let's try to analyze a particular website that we may have opened um, using this chart. Sony. All right, so let's say I have this website open that talks about public speaking tips. I can just copy this. And let's go back to chat Sonic. Can you explain the content of this website? And just click and just paste in the link to the website and I can just hit on enter. And let's give it some seconds to see whether it's going to pick this for us. So you can see mastering the basics of communication, how to communicate more effectively in workplace, public speaking tips to reduce anxiety and improve performance. And that's exactly what this um, platform is all about. Okay, it's just about public speaking like we've explained. So you can see right now it has explained even the content of a website for us very easily. Now the next thing is let's try to attempt to chat with a PDF using this same particular AI tool. So you can come down here, add a PDF document and let's just select any PDF document. All right, so let's send in the prompt for this. What is this paper all about? All right, so this is the question and we've up uploaded the paper. So let's see if it's going to be able to analyze and tell us about the paper. All right, and you can see right now, it has given us very, very many details about the paper, a big summary, data methodology, modeling process and flood hazard. Uh, the flood plane. The, uh, the paper appears to focus on flood modeling and hazard assessment using advanced hydrological and hydrologic and hydraulic simulation techniques. This is very correct and it has given us exactly what you are looking for. You can go ahead and copy or edit the content or the about. So this is very, very useful and it's very fantastic. Let's ask it basic question. Can you give me the image of a dog in a bar enjoying a cup of a cup of um, tea so let's see if it will be able to do images for us okay right now you can see it is going to generate the image of a dog in a bar enjoying a cup of tea fantastic i think this is uh, very very nice and you can see him directly in the bar and enjoying the tea and even probably watching a movie so this is fantastic and you can go ahead and just try on your own uh, let's try this um, can you write a python code to solve a quadratic equation for us let's see if it is going to be able to do that okay you can see here certainly this is our python code uh, that can solve a quadratic equation you can see this is very very perfect you can just go ahead and it has given even given you an example you can just go ahead and copy this and just run it on a python code and you'll be able to define the parameters the key parameters needed so this is very very interesting and very enticing you can go ahead and explore more and see what and what you can do with this very tool chat sonic is available you can try it for free if you want to upgrade you can go ahead and upgrade but if you are looking for a very versatile um, wise documents that can interact with PDF images websites and even give you some critical and case specific answers then chat sonic is your gateway you can just attempt it and see how what you can do with it so this concludes this tutorial about how to use chat sonic for complete beginners i hope you enjoyed this video thanks for watching and see you in the next one bye